Welcome to another Quadrant VS video. Uh, today I want to go ahead and show you how to get um, your Dell Remote Access Controller or your DRAC5 uh, remote console to work with your current version of Java. I am actually running, if I bring it up, I am actually running, I believe, 752, uh, 751, so version 7, update 51. Um, I would recommend using this version. Uh, you can also stack installs of Java. You can have an older version and a newer version installed, and they should work side by side. Um, theoretically, that should work. Um, so if you're having a problem signing into your console where you get something that says manifest attribute or something like that is missing from JAR, which I'll actually show you right now. download a little JNLP file, click on that uh, file, and then you get this, this issue. Basically, all you have to do in a situation like this is add this location or site or URL to uh, the exceptions list in Java. And how do you do that? Very simple. Click on your start menu, I search for Java. Click on Configure Java, click on Security, click on Edit Site List, and then click on Add. I would just punch in your IP address and the port number, which should theoretically be uh, your IP of your DRAC, which will actually be, uh, you'll have to look on the home page or just look in your browser at the top. You will punch that in, and then you will put 443. That's the default port it should be using. Uh, this is the entire URL so you can actually copy this but you don't actually need that you can just type in the port number I mean the IP address and the port number it should look just like that of course your IP address will be different click OK OK disconnect connect it'll download another JNLP file run that file continue run and what, what do you know? We're in our server. So I'm running ESXi, so this is why you're not seeing a Windows interface. But basically, this allows you to see what your server is seeing without you having to um, uh, team viewer into it. Because when you're in hardware mode, which as of now, I'm actually in kind of a hardware state, but not really, um, this will actually let you see what your server is doing. It'll let you see what's on, on, on the screen, what it's rendering. Um, it, and uh, this actually works even when the server is off. You can see when the server is off, you can actually turn it on. You can access the BIOS, and you don't even need to be in front of the server. Now, this is a Power Edge 2950, so this ain't going to work on your home computer, you know, your your HP pavilions. This is only on enterprise equipment. So if you have an HP um, ProLiant, uh, Dell Power Edge, or a Super Micro server, you'll have a similar system. Uh, but you won't. This video doesn't apply to those other systems. Uh, just the uh, DRAC5 from Dell. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, put them below. I won't be able to answer all of them, or I might not have an answer for the ones that I am going to uh, reply to. But, you know, uh, go ahead and put your comments below, and uh, thanks for watching.